Off the court, the Pelicans teamed up with local artists to help revitalize basketball in the community during the pandemic, and they're doing so one backboard at a time. The joy, the happiness that it brings. In the back of this art studio in the Bywater. I was going back and forth between what it would look like. Studio B. But I settled with this. Artist Brandon B. Mike Odoms. In the center is a portrait of a homie of mine, Devin, a.k.a. Young Sife. Takes pride in his hoops inspired piece. My inspiration was just kind of focusing on that idea of joy and how this space provided so much joy for so many people. That space taken away in New Orleans just a year ago. Around the time when the pandemic hit and Nord removed a lot of the backboards from courts around the city, Red Bull saw that it was an opportunity to replace those old backboards with brand new ones. And then there was a conversation around what could happen with those older goals. Odoms, along with the energy drink company, as well as the Pelicans, all came up with a solution. He and eight other local and regional artists would create works of art from the discarded backboards in an exhibit called Nola Has Wings. Odoms will show off his piece at Studio B. The eight others currently on display at the Smoothie King Center. I'm excited that I, I was able to work with some of my favorite artists in the city. You know, that, that was one of the, the, the first conversations that uh, I had with, with Red Bull and the Pelicans. That's amazing. There's not a single backboard that looks like another. And, and I, I really enjoy how all of us sort of inserted our own voice in this project. The inspiration for Odin's backboard will also be featured on this court that he's currently painting at Hardin Playground in the seventh ward. Now, one of the eight artists who wins the online voting for their backboard will get their own canvas to work on at a court to be selected by the Pels, Red Bull, and the New Orleans Recreation Department. These backboards, at its best, are going to bring community together. People are voting for their favorite one, and they're going to be excited to see who wins and, and to follow the journey of that person creating a basketball court. I think all those things are ways to connect community, and that's what we try to do at its best. Basketball and art, the outlet to revitalize New Orleans. We were able to use art not only to beautify, but to give reason for this transformation um, in these particular back boards that we're going to see around the city. Any idea that this is going to lead to more painted courts, I think it's just going to be this, this, this very um, exciting environment for, for, for the community. The winning artist will be announced on May 4th. Voting closes the day prior on May 3rd. You can still vote for a favorite backboard and artist. We provided a link to the voting at WWLTV.com as well as my Facebook page, Ricardo LeCompte TV.